Belly Dolphin Family went too far. So Belle Delphine's back, and I'd say it's absolutely everything you would expect it to be, but it's not. It's somehow worse. Just so you know, I never, ever, ever watch her stream. I heard she was a Twitch streamer. I never watch her content. Never. I don't. I never cared about her name being mentioned. Everybody talked about it. I never cared about it. But I heard females like uh, Pokemon and then Lenity. Lenity's fine. I ain't gonna lie. She actually, the ones out of all of them. So if you're watching this video, you probably know who Belle Dolphine is. She is like the progenitor e-girl. She was there when nobody else was. She's been in the e-girl trenches since probably 2016. And that is a really bad place to be. I mean, I've never been there. You can have to trust me on that one. But yeah, like if you need any insight into her mental state, then you could probably look at any of the last videos she's posted. And as I said, Oh, and she is back right. like these videos have been posted in the last three weeks now on one hand we all have bad days but on the other hand i don't play with dead mice on mine to be fair like That's if weird. you know anything about bell delphine's history this shouldn't come as a shock to you she's got a weird obsession with dead animals and to be fair this is the lighter side of bell delphine she has deleted nearly every single all right we just Wait, is she playing with dead animals? That's creepy. She's one of the creepiest females there. That is creepy. And this is her channel. Loki, judging from her over 11 million views versus what she has now. Yeah, she basically fell off. Nobody's watching her. She's relevant video on her channel from back in the day and that is going to become directly important in a little bit but there is one that remains luckily for us maybe unluckily for us it's basically a monument to everything she was and i guess still is and in fairness everything else aside it does speak for itself that's disgusting she has she kind of dead animals yeah, that is actually quite Ooh. normal. And to be That's fair, disgusting. in the scope of Belle Delphine, this was about the That's most family-friendly thing she did. Now, to really nah, set the scene and, like, emphasise the bro. gravity of her latest nah, crime, you kind of need to know what she's been doing recently. Up until the last couple of months, Belle Delphine's been on, like, some redemption tour. I don't necessarily know that she needed to be redeemed. She sold a few tubs of bath water. To be fair, it does happen. Though, in fairness, some people did actually get kind of fucked up by them. <laughs> I know they didn't drink no bad water from that thing. I know they didn't drink no bad water. I know he didn't drink no bad water. That's disgusting. Just from her tub, she probably doo doo pissing that shit and have you drink it. You don't know what diseases she got, bro. That's weird. This is what people were talking about like four or five years ago. But it's disgusting, bro. God, Lee, this is weird. Bell Dolphin's bath water be hit. What the freak are you doing, bro? You don't know what she's doing in there. She's pissing and shit, spitting in it, high hacking up me. You don't know what that is. But that's disgusting, bro. It was some simp. Bro, y'all some simps, bro. I would never do that. Not in my life. I would never do this. This is so weird, bro. You a grown man doing this? Was this is this the same dude that that bowed down to her and gave her money and said yes, my queen or something? And then he gave her money and she said thank you. And then. She shut the door on him and something. That was funny. That that clip was funny. I forgot about that. What was that? Pokemon was the one that did that part. I don't know. I forgot. Ugh. What? <laughs> now, just to clarify. Simp. That McQueen's. That, that McQueen's is not me. Like. I didn't buy Belle Delphine's bath water. I didn't buy Belle Delphine's bath water. But a lot of people did. Like, apparently she was selling it for, apparently, apparently. Well, apparently she was selling it for like $30 a tub or something. This was a few years ago. But I can only imagine that the money or the popularity is beginning to dry up. Because her behavior recently is really given that message. Now, first, in what can only be described as the good bit. Well, she started doing a few podcasts. And she did the podcast of someone in the UK called Louis Farouk. I don't know if you know who Louis Fru is. He's quite popular in the UK. He's made quite a few influential or popular documentaries. Documentaries on things like the Westboro Baptist Church. It's a banger if you haven't seen it. How old are you, Shirley? Seven. Seven. Do you know what the sign means? But I guess he's stopped doing that now when he has started a podcast and Belle Delphine went on the podcast and the results were interesting. They also call you the Queen of the Simps. <laughs> Who came up with that?
Nah, we. This is how. This is what she looked like. Actually, looked like brown hair. She looks weird, like a regular person, and this is a an optical illusion, bro. This is. Ooh. Oh, I have no idea. Simp's basically just a very strong male fan of a woman who maybe has connotations of giving her money or white knighting her a bit on the internet. Now, I did watch a bit of the podcast, not because I love oh, Belle Delphine, just because I love, like, truth. But basically, they were just breaking down, like, degenerate internet terms for a mainstream audience. I mean, you know, you are who, who you say, like... You know, what's that new... What's that word when when a person... What's that term when a person created a certain word to like call somebody, but really they're, them, they're that kind of way themselves? What's that? A hypocrite? No, no, I mean, that applies in that too, but it was something else. It was something else. Um, You say what you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Interesting that move for Belle Delphine, because I would reckon that she does rely heavily on the persona she's built. And you have seen the persona at the start of this video, like it is of just a complete lunatic. So yeah, her talking candidly probably breaks the illusion a little bit, especially for her fans, of which I am not one. But it is literally, as I've described it, the podcast just does go on like this for a while. Cuck's... cuck's what? Cuck is more... <laughs> <laughs> We've gone really deep into 4chan now. We can, we, if we're going to try and explain the internet to everyone who's listening, we're going to die on that hill. A cuck is short for cuckold. It's basically, a, a, again, a, a guy who's seen as weak and allowing his... His his woman begging another dude while he's watching. Adam22, uh, Sneeko, and other weird people. And also, if you're watching Prawn, that makes you a cuck too. That's weird. Don't do that. Do not do that. Uh, his woman to be... Yeah, even he's getting a little bit like, what am I doing here? Now, I guess if you were like some e-girl scholar, of which I am not, then this would be kind of interesting. In a lot of her appearances in the past, like she is just completely playing up to the persona. And with this in mind, the results of all these podcasts are just weird. For some reason, I really like ogres at the moment. Yes. Sh is it Sh Shrek? Not necessarily Shrek, but just like imagining what, some what subset huge of grotesque, ogre? like... It's just, I think what I like about it is I like something so big and so gross, kind of like overpowering something small. Well, you know what? Credit. I wanted to do hit it. Um, it's that she like a big, basically what she's saying, a big black man. That dude that was playing as uh, Buzz Lightyear, that was also a, a predator. I think that's who she who she's to Belle Delphine. To. At least she is giving a chance to everybody that has subscribed to her OnlyFans. And I'm going to be real, like, given all of the promo she's received, that number is going to be extortionate, and I promise I'm not part of it. I know a couple YouTubers that are, and I will expose them if this video gets 100 likes. Subscribe while you're down there, not to Belle Delphine's OnlyFans, to my channel. I would appreciate it, and she probably wouldn't. But either way, like, the more I look back, the more these podcast appearances before now do just make me sad. Because when she's not in the persona, there is a bit of a sad undertone. No. This is your actual relationship with your mother and I, your father. I have no dad, and I think my mum probably does regret. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of sad, but I guess you can't have your cake and eat it. I'm sure she's made a lot of money, but she has had to sacrifice some things along the way. There is no free lunch in this life. I'm sure you know that by now. And she might have just learnt this because she is now back on the money-making grind. As I've said, she's probably made a lot of money just in the background of OnlyFans. In the last couple of weeks, as I said, she has started uploading again. I mean, at first, to be fair to her, these videos were fairly innocent. She's creepy. I wouldn't want to be around her. She's weird. She's a weird content creator. A very disgusting one, too. Uh, that's creepy. Like a serial killer. You know what? That is definitely not hygienic, but it is a start, I guess. You're not going to get banned off every single mainstream social media for posting this content. So you know what, Bell? Credit to you. Unfortunately, this credit can only last as much as 10 seconds. So after giving all of the signs of making a U-turn on everything she's done, she posted maybe the craziest tweet I've seen in a while. Ever wanted to f***?
You don't expect her to keep her YouTube account, but you do expect her to keep her Twitch because, you know, they're biased over there. So you really don't. It, I, it's, I don't know. I'm surprised you two have any platform or two me not particularly i'm not gonna lie to you well now you can i'm selling my very own customized sex toy including dude what i That's mean it's value for school. money my own clothes and worn panties it's basically me but less annoying now, i'm just gonna say straight off the bat we might have summoned the antichrist for this one i don't think we were supposed to do this i think we might have made a big mistake so i'm looking at these photos just and why just for a second, imagine being a factory worker that had to create this. There is no justifiable wage for creating this monstrosity. That's and by disgusting. the way, that's, if the doll wasn't enough on its own, it does get worse. She's made the weird. informed This is cr This is insane. This is insane. This is scary business decision to ship this out in a pink coffin and to be fair it is kind of fitting like if you do buy this you are as good as dead and like just looking at this image i've got to give a little bit of credit they have really captured the lifeless soulless look in belle delphine's eyes in this doll now just for a second i gotta go back to that louis Fru podcast because in this podcast she went on a little bit of a tangent talking about how she wishes she was never in this life would you still like to have an internet presence even if it's a kind of a more vanilla kind of content would that be fun or that you see no, that as I more wish, as pointless i wish there was a way to kill me on the internet and just like somehow delete everything Sorry, that's not how that works. You can't you can't delete everything that you see. What you do, stay on the internet. You gotta be careful what you post because that shit is gonna get screenshotted, sickly downloaded, all that. Plus, the you know, everybody's watching you, bro. Everybody's watching you. You cannot act like you can just take all that away. People, even if you somehow delete everything. Because that's impossible. People are, are going to know it's you. Thing or just kind of die in a sense. You expose to be yourself fair, too, you expose yourself that sums it up. But I can fully understand why someone in this line of work might regret it down the line. Now, I'll be real personally. Like, I don't actually care what people do. Let me know what you think. But to be fair, I just kind of see the internet as like the Wild West. You can do what you want. If you do play stupid games, then you will win stupid prizes. In Belle Delphine's case, she started this line of work pretty early. To be fair, I think she might have been 18 or like just turned 18 when she started. That might have actually been the appeal for some of the people that were subscribing to her OnlyFans. It's a, it's a rough thought to think about, so we're not going to think about it anymore. She was almost adamant that she was moving on to new things, and this makes this whole thing weirder. I like chapters. Really? Yeah. I you think just it, like to dis well, it'd be quite disappear nice. would be a nice yeah, way maybe, of Yeah, maybe it. close the chapter, but I uh, there's no way to do that, which is fine. Well, what you can do is just, as, as we were saying, disappear. Stop doing anything. Maybe yeah. what you're saying is like, rather than fizzle out and have a kind of lower rated, non-adult content, social media account, you'd prefer just to be well, completely I'm not... gone. Well, she stuck to her word for like two weeks. But throughout this podcast appearance... I mean, that's on you. Like, you got to be careful what you put out. You're going to get it back 10 times more, 100 times more, tenfold. That's on, that's on you. Be careful what you put out. The internet is a double-edged sword. And yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. I certainly did. I didn't think I would, but I did. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next reaction.